Hello, it's Deborah from The Attic and today I want to show you the February subscription kit from Your Creative Studio. We're working under a combination of natural light and a little bit of lamplight, so I hope you can see everything clearly. This little card is a really useful way of giving you a quick idea of just how much you get in each kit. So there's a list of items here, vintage tags, washi roll, pen case, ooh, pen case, perforated paper, there's even more over the top here, stickers, ribbon. It just makes you want to dive straight in. Ooh, oh, this is looking good already. <laughs> I haven't even opened anything. Oh, pretty. So eight pieces of vintage speciality paper. Oh, these are perforated. Let me show you the sheets first before I get too carried away. These have all got a really pretty garden flower, rose, very soft colored theme. Oh, isn't that pretty? Really lovely. And let's just have, oh, nice. Let's just have a look at those perforations. So. They're almost like uh, stamp perforations. Maybe you can see it more easily on the reverse. I'm just gonna try and, ah, uh, oh, they, they cut away really easily. I just want to show you what it looks like. So it's like a little uh, stamp edge. You can break it down and you'll have uh, a nice edging to any of the panels that you take away from the sheets. This is interesting. Oh, nice, it's got um, a little image on the front of it. That's nice, a nice detail, nice way to open it up. And it's nicely lined on the inside as well. That's gonna be so useful. And um, it's even got a little, um, it's got the colors of the French flag on there. I think that must be, um, I'm gonna take that as a speciality for me. That's lovely. How, how sweet is that? Oh wow, this notepad has got loads of flowers and foliage and bouquets and roses and mushrooms and all sorts. And this looks to me like this is a sticker pad. So let me just check that. These are really thin, almost like a really fine parchment sticker. And you can just release it from the backing and that will stick beautifully into journals or onto cards. And there are loads and loads of pages, as you can see there. Here's a collection of tags in all different shapes and sizes. And there's a little memo pad. This looks very pretty. Uh, some nice French writing on there as well. And these are perforated. Ooh, ribbon. Oh, how lovely. That's very pretty. That's definitely going to get used somehow. There's another little booklet that has images printed onto parchment. I love this parchment style stuff. It's just so beautiful. And these are also perforated. I want to unroll this washi to show you just how pretty this looks. This has got that sort of, um, it looks like stamps, but it has also got perforations on it. So if you want something that is gonna look like stamps and you can include it on your project, this is washi that is stamp style. Let's look in the little box. <laughs> so I think this is um, more of those tags that I showed you right at the beginning. Beautifully cut out shapes. They've got the, the uh, holes already punched out for you. They're lovely. It's difficult to resist a little box, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh wow, these are tickets. <gasps> There are loads of these, there are just so many. So it's a mixture of tickets and advertising. Oh, I love these. You can see, you can get a sense of just how much is in this box. Just amazing. And I really love that sort of matchbox style, that way of storing these, these things. The storage and the packaging in these kits is almost as exciting as the contents. Oh. Lovely, more little detailed, vintage style, floral themed, tiny little note cards. 
So this is a cling stamp. This, um, just a note on the packaging for these to explain what I, I said earlier. This is a really thick envelope. It's really thick craft stock and it's, it's going to be used again. If I can open it without damaging it and see what the cling stamp is on the inside. Oh, there's loads. There's more than one. Right, okay, let's have a look. Wow, so it's more than one cling stamp. It's one large foliage and flower stamp and then these little extra ones as well. Uh, these are the sorts of cling stamps that you can just add to um, an acrylic block and they will stick to it. The sticker sheet has got some more flowers on it, some really nice detail on there. And these just pop away from the background and they are like black and white uh, maybe images, so they look like they are drawn. And there are some really pretty papers. These are six by six, and they're in some really nice bright floral, spring-like colors, and they're just so cheerful. Now sometimes these are stickers, and yep. So you peel away the back, and it's got an adhesive underneath. So I'm going to have a play with some of the things in this kit and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I've made. This is what I've made using some of the elements of the kit. There's so much in there you could make endless cards or endless journal pages. I chose to make a card. This is a nice square card and the reason that I haven't uh, secured this little tag down is because I want to talk you through some of the decisions that I made when I was making this card. So the first thing I want to point out is that what I've done is I've cut down one of the beautiful pieces of paper and I've just glued it into position. Then I've taken some of the lace and I've glued it down this side. I want to show you how I've softened this card. So this started out as a white card and yet my backing is cream. And what I did was I chose to add cream because there's very little white in this card. So I wanted to pick up the cream because otherwise the white would have been too stark. The way that I did that was by using the three tiny little stamps and a very, very soft Versacolor ink. This is a color called Bisk. It's 182 Bisk. And it was absolutely perfect for going around the outside of these in sequence. So I would dot that one on, then the next stamp and so on, all around that outer edge of the card. Once I'd finished uh, my stamping, I took my ink block and I went around the outside edges of the card just uh, to add a little bit of extra detail around that border. When I came to this edge, I made sure that my card was in half like this and went around that edge so that it wouldn't spill onto the white of the background of the card. I used the same colour of ink on the larger stamp as well. So on the large stamp I've used this to soften the colour of one of these blank tags and I've actually used the reverse of it. I wanted to show you how the white would have looked too bright and too stark against this soft background. So what I did was I used the same colour of ink and I used the large stamp block to stamp uh, on the, uh, I stamped it this way up, the correct way up on the tag and then I turned it around and I stamped it upside down as well. This page background is collage and so by using the stamp upside down you can't really see it and if you could you could argue it's part of the collage effect. So I wanted to show you how I had softened down the colour of that tag and again I went around the outside with my stamp block. Then I took one of these coloured pages from this little booklet and I used one of the uh, parchment ones. These are just so beautiful. I could have used any of these. They're all beautiful. I glued it onto the coloured tag, the stamped part of my tag. And then I did something different with the ribbon. So instead of just layering the ribbon like that, I decided that I would pop the hole through. There was a hole on this side, but because I was using the reverse, I popped the hole out. And then with the ribbon, I took my scissors and I cut off this edge of the ribbon. And I used that to make the tie in the top of the tag. And then the ribbon that was left over that didn't have this neat edging on it, I thought it's too nice to waste. So instead of uh, just binning it, I've 
but glued it onto this side of my additional colourful thing. <laughs> Um, so I've glued one little row there and I've glued another little row there and I think it adds some softness and texture to the whole card. So now that I've shown you the contrast and why I've uh, elected to colour my tag the way that I have, all it remains for me to do is glue this tag into position on my card. I also wanted to show you how I've used that lovely little pencil case. And of course you can use it as a pencil case or you could use it to keep uh, paint brushes in. I've decided to use it to keep my washi tape in. My washi tape goes everywhere and this way it's safe and secure and I think I've got room in there to get uh, another uh, couple of rolls in there. So I'm saving all of my washi tape that comes in the beautiful subscription kits. If you haven't already please subscribe and hit the bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video to my channel. I'm going to provide links below the video in the description box so you can find your creative studio and you can look into subscribing to these beautiful kits. And I'm going to say until we meet again, stay safe and take care.